Hello and welcome to Wageningen University and Research. I'm Lizzie and in this video I'm joined by two people from the Masters of Animal Sciences. So let's start off with some introductions. My name is René Kwokkel. I'm Program Director of the Animal Science Programme as well as Associate Professor in Animal Nutrition. Hello, I'm Ilaria. I'm from Italy and I'm a student in the Animal Science uh, Programme. So in this video, we are going to provide you with some more information about the Masters of Animal Sciences. So to begin with, can you please explain what this program is about? Yeah. The Animal Science Programme focuses on issues uh, around animals mm -hmm. uh, such as uh, nutrition, health, immunology, uh, genetics, so mm -hmm. to say, all animals that we care for, that we have a kind of a management task, so pe animals in, re in relation to mm -hmm. humans, so to say. And is there an international component of the program? Yes, uh, students are uh, allowed, uh, we even try to uh, emphasize that in our program, that they go abroad, mm -hmm. that they follow courses at other universities, that they do their thesis or internship over there. So we have a couple of partner universities around the world. Excellent. And so why did you choose this program? Because I already uh, studied animal science in my bachelor, but I wanted to specialize in animal nutrition, and here they have the specialization in um, animal nutrition and metabolism. Excellent. And so speaking of specializations, what specializations are available in the program? We have six uh, different specializations. They, they all are focused a little bit on a different education level. So as, as I just said, you could study more, let's say, food safety uh, uh, topics in, in that way, and then it's governed to, to livestock. But you could also go far deeper and study the genome of, of several, for example, endangered uh, species, uh, some uh, crossovers between nutrition and yeah. immunity in yeah. different types of species. Most of the time students choose for yeah. a certain species that they are interested in. And what are some of the differences between the six specializations? They basically are, uh, uh, are focused on a different aspect, of okay. a different subdomain of animal sciences. So you can, it's covering everything Excellent. from health so to lots of nutrition. Lots. Yeah. And so what are some of the courses available in the program? We have, because the program is a kind of a uh, thesis uh, preparing master program, it means that all of the students uh, have to know at a certain moment what type of major thesis they are going to choose mm -hmm. and which chair group, and they follow in the first year so-called compulsory advanced courses. We call them thesis preparing courses, so mm -hmm. to say. And, and are there any optional courses or flexibility in the yeah, program? Yeah, there are a lot of elective courses and they can either uh, follow those courses here at the universities or as I, oh, as I already said, abroad. Excellent. Yeah. And so what has been the most exciting course that you've done in the program? Uh, I have a lot of uh, courses that I really liked. Uh, one of them, for example, is called the Nutrient Dynamics and it focuses on the modeling uh, animals mm -hmm. uh, to understand better their physiology and uh, nutrient metabolism. Another course I really liked was uh, animal nutrition and physiology because we had the chance to um, work with the animals themselves and do also some lab. And then another course I liked, which uh, was an elective course, was uh, health, welfare and management mm -hmm. because uh, it focuses also on the health of the animals, which yeah. I think is also really important. So you mentioned previously that in the second year students have to complete a thesis. So how does students' thesis topics align with their specialisation? Well, all students, they, they choose uh, a thesis topic that is totally directed to their, to their choice for a certain specialisation. Most of the time there are PhD students working uh, at the different chair groups and students are being connected to those mm -hmm. PhD students. And those that's a very nice team because there are two young people yeah. working together on the same topic yeah. as well. And that can be on all, on all different sub-areas in, in animal sciences. Excellent. And so are you currently completing a thesis? Yeah, I'm doing a thesis about using pig as animal models to study protein digestibility mm -hmm. for humans. And uh, it's part of a big project by FAO. Excellent. International collaboration for an international program. Yeah, exactly. And so moving on to the admissions process, 
what are some typical bachelor's degrees or background knowledge that is required to be admitted into this program? Well, most students that apply for this program and are ultimately admitted as well are students coming from, well, let's say ordinary bachelor mm -hmm. uh, animal science programs, but also students from biology programs or veterinary sciences are very welcome to, okay. uh, to come to our program. And are there any specific admission requirements, for example, a background in statistics? They need to have a basic okay. knowledge in statistics. But whenever there is any deficiency in any of the areas, uh, while a student would like to choose uh, a very specific area, mm. then we have some deficiency courses that they can follow oh, as well. Excellent, easy. And what are some typical jobs that graduates of this program end up doing? Well, let's say the majority of all students, they will end up uh, in, in, in businesses, so to say, okay. and uh, they will be their uh, technical advisor or even in the larger companies, and there are a lot of large companies connected to this program or to this area, they might be also end up uh, as a researcher mm -hmm. in, uh, in research and development uh, 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 department, so to say. Um, there is about 20% of all our students that directly give their master program a follow-up in a PhD. Yeah. Excellent. And so are these opportunities available for both Dutch and international students? Definitely. Definitely. Those are All our uh, job offers are very internationally oriented uh, uh, companies or, or yeah. organizations. Excellent. Yeah. So as an international student, what is it like to study here? It's really nice. The campus is very big and uh, beautiful mm -hmm. and there, there are lots of international students and uh, for example, compared to Italy, the relationship with the teachers is re it's really open and uh, more informal. So they help you, they are always available to help you. Excellent. And are there any extracurricular activities available? Yeah, sure. There are plenty of uh, association, like sport association or study association, and um, they always organize uh, excursion or uh, seminars. So there is always something to do. Okay. And so on to our final question. If somebody watching this video has some more specific questions about this Masters, is there someone that you can point them to? Yeah, definitely. They, uh, we have a couple of study advisors mm -hmm. in our Master Program, uh, so that means that whenever somebody is sending us an email, then they can will be directly forwarded to one of our study advisors in the Master Program. We have them both for, for international students, uh, for, the, for Dutch students. Um, Excellent. So there's a lot Easy. to mind. Well, thank you very much for joining me today and answering these questions. Sadly, that's all we have time for, but I hope that we provided you with some more information of the Masters of Animal Sciences here at Wageningen University. If you have additional questions about the general admissions process, then I would encourage you to email students at ver.nl. In addition, I would encourage you to watch the video called Essentials for Studying at Wageningen University which provides some necessary information about the admissions process. Thank you very much for watching and we will hopefully see you here in the future at Wagner University.